The first Battle of Tembian was a battle fought on the northern front of what was known as the Second Italo-Ethiopian War. This battle consisted of attacks and counter-attacks by Italian forces under Marshal Pietro Badoglio and Ethiopian forces under Ras Kassa Haile Darj. This battle was primarily fought around Worsij Pass in what was then the Tembian province of Ethiopia. Chapter 1 Background On 3 October 1935, General Emilio de Bono advanced into Ethiopia from Eritrea without a declaration of war. De Bono had a force of approximately 100,000 Italian soldiers and 25,000 Eritrean soldiers to advance towards Addis Ababa. In December, after a brief period of inactivity and minor setbacks for the Italians, De Bono was replaced by Badoglio. Haile Selassie launched the Christmas offensive late in the year to test Badoglio. Initially successful, the goals of this offensive were overly ambitious. As the progress of the Christmas offensive slowed, Italian plans to renew the advance on the northern front got underway. In addition to being granted permission to use poison gas, Badoglio received additional ground forces. The elements of the Italian Three Corps and the Italian Four Corps arrived in Eritrea during early 1936. By mid-January, Badoglio was ready to renew the advance on the Ethiopian capital. Badoglio overwhelmed the armies of ill-armed and uncoordinated Ethiopian warriors with mustard gas, tanks, and heavy artillery. Chapter 2 Preparation In early January 1936, the Ethiopian forces were in the hills everywhere overlooking the Italian positions and attacking them regularly. Italian dictator Benito Mussolini was impatient for an Italian offensive to get underway and for the Ethiopians to be swept from the field. In response to his frequent exhortations, Badoglio cabled Mussolini, It has always been my rule to be meticulous in preparation so that I may be swift in action. The Ethiopians facing the Italians were in three groupings. In the center, near Obi Adi and along the Beals River in the Tembian, were Ras Kassa with approximately 40,000 men and Ras Sayam Mangasha with about 30,000 men. On the Ethiopian right was Ras Mulugeta Yegazu and his army of approximately 80,000 men in positions atop Amber Aradam. Ras Imru Haile Selassie with approximately 40,000 men was on the Ethiopian left in the area around Sali Leha in the Shire province. Badoglio had five army corps at his disposal. On his right, he had the Italian Four Corps and the Italian Two Corps facing Ras Imru in the Shire. In the Italian center was the Eritrean Corps facing Ras Kassa and Ras Soam in the Tembian. Facing Ras Mulugeta atop Amber Aradam was the Italian I Corps and the Italian Three Corps. Initially, Badoglio saw the destruction of Ras Mulugeta's army as his first priority. Mulugeta's force would have to be dislodged from its strong positions on Amber Aradam in order for the Italians to continue the advance towards Addis Ababa. But Ras Kassa and Ras Oam were exerting such pressure from the Tembian that Badoglio decided that he would have to deal with them first. If the Ethiopian center was successful, the I Corps and Three Corps facing Ras Mulugeta would be cut off from reinforcement and resupply. On 19 January, the day before the offensive in the Tembian began, Badoglio ordered General Ettore Bastico, commander of the Third Corps, to leave Makal and occupy Nebri and Negada. By doing this, Badoglio effectively closed the road to the Tembian to Ras Mulugeta, preventing him from sending reinforcements to Ras Kassa and Ras Sawam. Chapter 3 Battle On 20 January, Badoglio launched the First Battle of the Tembian. On the left of the Eritrean Corps, the Second Eritrean Division advanced in two columns through the area around Abero Pass. On the right of the Eritrean Corps, the Second CC.NN. Division 28 Autobra advanced, towards the torrent that was the Beals River. The Italian Three Corps held Nebri, and Negada.Italian General Diamanti then led a column of roughly 1,500 soldiers to the Derin area, where the Ethiopians managed to push the heavily outnumbered Italians back. By the end of the day, the 2nd Eritrean Division fell back to positions around Abero Pass and the 2nd CC.NN. 
Division on the Italian right was driven back to the Worsage Pass where it and the garrison were surrounded and besieged. For three days the Ethiopians, who had a substantial numerical superiority, launched wave after wave of attacks against the Italians cut off at Worsage Pass. Badoglio moved up the 1st Eritrean Division to join the 2nd Eritrean Division at Abaro Pass. Badoglio then ordered the commander of the 2nd Eritrean Division, General Achille Vacarizzi, to advance on the Worsage Pass and relieve the besieged Italians there. By the afternoon of the 22nd of January, the CC.NN Division and the garrison at Worsage Pass were still cut off and low on water and ammunition, the fury of the Ethiopian attacks was reaching a crescendo, and Badoglio drew up plans for a withdrawal to new defensive lines. There is no way to know what the result would have been if he had attempted to withdraw 70,000 men, 14,000 animals, and 300 guns of the Italian I Corps and III Corps down the single road from Macal with the forces of Ras Mulugeta at the Naria. However, the Italian troops at the Worsage Pass stubbornly repulsed every Ethiopian attack, and on the third day, they were relieved by Vacarizzi troops. According to the Italians, the Ethiopians retreated when the relief force appeared. According to the Ras Casa, the Italian Royal Air Force saved the day for Badoglio. His men could no longer stand up to the deadly clouds of mustard gas rained down non-stop on the roads his troops took, the base camps where they gathered, and any area surrounding them. Chapter 4, Aftermath By the morning of the 24th of January, the first Battle of Tembian came to an end. While the armies of Ras Kassa and Ras Soam had retreated from the area around Worsage Pass, they were not destroyed and they still held the Tembian. In addition, the armies of Ras Imru and Ras Mulugeta were fully intact. However, the threat the armies of the Ethiopian centre posed to the I Corps and III Corps was neutralised and now Badoglio was free to turn his attention to the Ethiopian right and Ras Mulugeta. Badoglio considered the battle a success, the Ethiopian offensive had been prevented, their armies had lost considerable difficult to replace ammunition, and had suffered many casualties. After the battle the military initiative, was always in the hands of the Italians. The Battle of Amber Aradam followed next. Roughly one month later, the Second Battle of Tembian would prove to be a more decisive encounter between Ras Kassa, and Ras Soam armies and the Italian army.